Hey gang, so camera quality because tablet. My phone is dead. So I have been raising money for a space and one of the reasons why I had to divert funds is due to my digestive health. I did post on Instagram where I usually do my fundraising or I do most of my fundraising that um, I had to get hemorrhoid cream because anal health is important and it is also expensive. I'm not in Minnesota right now where I can hit up a doctor and get a prescription and then even if I could I would have a hard time finding somebody to ship the stuff down to me. So I just went ahead to Walgreens and CVS, video not sponsored, and bought the products myself. And instead of hiding in shame about it, because we know that there are a lot of reasons why people can have hemorrhoids, including but not limited to stress, here's a video about it. The medicated wipes. I got these first and I was like, hopefully just wiping with these will do it because sometimes you can get hemorrhoids from being too rough with your butthole. Um, didn't do it. Helped, yes. Definitely would rather be with them than without them, but nah. Today I went and got, uh, I went to CVS and they had a buy one, get one half off. And it was a gel, a cream, and uh, ointment. I don't know what the fucking difference is between ointment and cream. As far as I know, like, what the fuck? So I went over to the pharmacist for, for the consultation uh, desk and I was like, alright, what's the difference? Um, the cream and the ointment are more medicated than the cooling gel. Um, so I got both of these. And nifty little thing. I've never seen these tubes before. Um, so if you can't guess, the tubes are for easier application because I know what some of you are thinking and I've done it too. Why not just use your finger? Well, I have even done an assessment on why your finger is not a good idea. Your fingernails, depending on your fingernail situation, can scratch the already irritated tissue. And depending on what stage your hemorrhoid is in, be it internal or external, that can fuck that shit up even more. Now, as you can see, I don't really, I, I keep my fingernails short, usually. Um, but it has uneven edges. I don't know how well you can see that with this camera. And it's like anything could mess that situation up. And, you know, why get hemorrhoid cream just to fuck that up? Um, and also you're, you can have dirt under your fingernails and that's already wounded area that could possibly get infected. Um, and of course a lot of us has just gone on and like applied the cream with our finger and, and taken the chance on that, you know, better people wash their hands before and after application. Um, but you know, some of us aren't better people, but this makes things a lot easier. Um, I take it off with one hand. Um, I don't know how well you can see this. Oh, here's the camera. These, there's these little holes on the side. Yep, you can see that pretty well, actually. These little holes on the side, uh, the cream and ointment also come out of those little holes. Um, and, um, it does say use externally. But you can also use these on internal hemorrhoids, depending on where they're sitting. My hemorrhoids are always internal. Um, I don't have a problem sitting down, but it's definitely something to feel while I'm pooping. Um, and of course, nifty little instructions and warnings and stuff here on the back. 14% uh, mineral oil, 74.9% P-E-T-R-O- a L A T M point twenty five per cent P H E N Y L E P H R I N E Petrolatum Funny Lif Lif fine P H is pronounced F so Funny 
Lefrine. Vanillafrine. Okay. That's this. Oh, this way. Nope, this way. Vanillafrine. Um. Oh, it doesn't have this on the thing. It's on the box. Uh, but probably the same shit. And I got both because they are slightly different. Um, because there's just a difference between a cream and a an ointment. This one says medicated formula and this one says maximum pain relief. So I was like, okay. And they're buy one, get one half off. I'm getting both of them. Um, the wipes were cheaper and available in single packs over at Walgreens, which I'm very thankful for. Um, but yeah. So, my hemorrhoids are stress-induced. And for those of you who don't know, I have a lot of trauma in a lot of different areas. And I recently saw uh, the end of Steven Universe Future where they talk about trauma and stuff and all the stuff that Steven has been through. And it's like, I even though I've been through therapy and I know some of this stuff already, it's like, you know, you, you know enough stuff and you forget. So it's like when they say like, um, something smaller can happen and your body can react like it's the end of the world. Even if you know it's not the end of the world, your body can react like it's not the end of the world. Your body can react like it's the end of the world. Um, and for me, my main thing is like mind racing. Like I start going every which way up here. Um, but it also does things to my body. Like um, I can have stress diarrhea and stress constipation and hemorrhoids. Um, my digestive system takes a really big toll under stress. And stress, like, people people handle stress differently. But I think it's more common for people to feel stress in their digestive system. Um, and there can definitely be other medical conditions that put people's stress somewhere else. Like, if you have high or low blood pressure or diabetes or whatever. Um, I used to get stress headaches. Not as bad and not as frequent, but, like, shit would have to be really going on. Um, I don't get those so much anymore. Uh, it's pretty much all my digestive system now, but I know some people, like, their face goes numb and stuff. Like, stress is fucking wild. Um, and, um, yeah, I just wanted to make a video about it, because, like, I, if we're ending the stigmas, let's end another one. Fuck it. Oh, uh, make rapists and racists afraid again, and I'll see y'all later.